gone over here. There is debris and minerals and random artifacts and all sorts of bullshit and I'm gonna dive off there. Woo Didn't quite work out that way. I thought it was gonna be more of a steep drop. See the map on. Can I do it? Ah, boom. They go away. What is this? Redeploying. Looks like it's half buried. Escape pod. Well, whoever was in that escape pod, I don't think it worked out too well for you, did it? League of One? Here's the League of One. They sound like awesome people I want to meet. You are part of the League of One. Rise, Lady Shepherd. You are an elite member of the League of One. She's an elite member of the League of Awesome. Shepherd Queen. interesting you'd look over there and it looked like yeah it's just the sky it's just the sky nothing to worry about but no it's a big other planet or moon or whatever in the way that's pretty damn impressive I'm going the wrong way where is this thing that I'm looking for I'm traveling around in circles and not going anywhere there we go back this way on the ground. What are they? What's in these pebbles? Polonium. Polonium pebbles. No, I don't want to talk to Ashley. I want to get back in the Mako. Hi, Ashley. Okay, overrun research outpost. I'm going to have to go past the over... Oh! Get back in that Mako ship. I'm gonna have to go past the overrun research outpost to get to that other thing. If I do go right past it, then I'll just keep on go home. Save ourselves some trouble and time. But yeah, doing these assigned missions, it's good. It gets you out and about around the galaxy. You can see the splendor. There's the galaxy and how kind of immense it is. How vast. What I'm looking for fast. How fast it is. Ooh, this looks like a path. Somebody put lights on the ridge so you can see where you're going. I doubt that that was get. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing they do. Was their meanies. You ever get the feeling someone's leading you somewhere? about the way crates. I'm gonna play bumpy cars with the crates look. No you. <laughs> Sorry I will start being a little bit more mature. There are these um stop there we go. There are these things everywhere. I believe they're called dragon's teeth. I vaguely remembered that. I wanna call them dragon's teeth. I might be wrong, I might be right. Let me just check my map a second. Am I where I wanted to be? Oh yes, this is the, the overrun research facility and that's where the thing was. Okay, I got a little bit confused because of um, where my marker was. No, I don't want to look in there. I want to look in this and I want to... I 
what to look for the this thing. just haven't inquired about them or something we don't know anything about them looking up to see if i can f could find the name of the thing that the husks were made of i'm sure someone more might could tell me could go and look at it and tell me I, I i'm fairly certain that they're called dragon's teeth those things i remember that from mass effect 2 somebody saying that they made husks with the dragon teeth Paling them on dragon's teeth or something. Dragon spikes, spikes. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making the dragon's teeth bit of dragon spikes. I'll have to look it up. Okay, so I, I, I think we're probably gonna have a safe bet to say that there's gonna be husks in here. <laughs> I was a little bit delayed, Mr. Huss. Like, whoa. I see Shepard. She's peeking at me. She's peeking at me, get her. Is that it? My gun overheated. Not that many, is there? Oh, hang on. Okay, in the other rooms. Behind the door. Look, they're so waiting behind this door to ambush me. What the fuck just happened? Oh, get! Well, that was surprising. Bursting in here on an amp. It's one thing the Gath love, it's a good ambush. There we go. Right, what is through here? What is this? This looks like I can touch it. Nope. 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 We're not getting our uh, jobs done. Uh, pat on the back yet. I suspect there may be Geth waiting for us outside when we get back out of here. That would seem logical. Heavy and medium armor. I get many light armors. I don't know whether I've got the best one. I might head back to my apartment and see if I can um, get some if I order them from the. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a medical thing. Um, order some from the, the courier. Whether they'll give me some. I want some better armor. Not that there's anything wrong with my armor. I think my armor is actually really good. The one that I've got. I, I still want the Master Spectre armor. I wonder where it um, is. I wonder if I go back to the Citadel now that I've uh, I've again completed Pinnacle Station. Whether the dudes will have them. 
We'll see. We want Master Spectre armor. Where are they? I knew they were coming, didn't I say? Careful of nothing but, a, but an ambush. So in terms of like difficulty, I think that um I'm surprised. I figured one of these outposts would be the main base of operations for this incursion. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Ashley is repeating herself. Okay. Ashley. I can't remember what I was saying before the Geth rudely ambushed me. Something about armor and Spectre and penises, I don't know. signal to somewhere in this cluster and as if by magic an, an extra system has appeared called Grissom. Let's go there. Okay so what do we have in Grissom? We have something with a moon. Sulcrum. That's where we've got to go. I remember the name. Bender. The Herux. <coughs> I'm going to attempt to say these names. You know, I'm probably getting them wrong, but I'm going to attempt it. No turn ban. Yes, there we go. Sulcrum. Largest moon. So we are on this very large moon of that rather blue planet over there. It's not actually that big there to this moon, it looks quite little. We're in the middle of a big crater though. What do we have? I guess that's where I've got to go. Debris and anomaly. Redeploying. Get back in the Mako. There we go. That is where we are going get these let's go and see what that geth base is about take them out secure this star cluster and when we return to the normandy and we are going to come on miko it's not that steep you're being silly um i'm gonna head to vermeyer i did say that i wanted to go to the citadel and see whether the c-sec guy has got the spectre armor yet but i'm not going to um, at least if I do, I won't record it, I'll just edit it out just to make sure because I just want to get straight to the line and I think it's time we've moved on. Got on with the stories. And, um, there'll be other opportunities to head back to this stuff. Push. Get up. Stop that bad. What is this? Am I seeing or not seeing or oh yeah. Hmm. What is it? Sorry capsule. Come on, you can get through that gap, come on. I believe in you, Mr. Mako. I believe in you. Oh, 
it occurs to me that I have been calling him Mr. My Mako. I've been calling my Mako Mr. Mako. I've also been saying that she is a woman and she has a lovely voice. I'm calling her my baby at the same time. You know? The Mako is like the Asari. He, she is monogendered and can be a he or she if he or she so feels like it. Either that or, you know, transvestite. Transvestite Mako! This is what happens, you see. I record late at night and the weirdest things come out of my mouth. It's very bizarre. I shouldn't be allowed to have a headset and a mic late at night. I go a little bit crazy. And I start talking about random shit that makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, no. Let's go. Let's go and assault this base. Assault it. Batter it. Pillage it. All that good stuff. Gosh, I sound so violent. I sound like a violent, violent person. I blame Metal Gear Rising. I tell you, if you play that game, go and play Metal Gear Rising for a, a good few hours and um, come back and tell me you're not feeling like a bit of a psychopath. It is far, far too much fun to hack people up into tiny little pieces and steal their innards. It is like sadistically good. Okay. I don't know whether you can hear in the background. There's a mini little child coughing. He's in the next room. He's in bed. He's meant to be sleeping. He's got a, a cough off. So he keeps waking up and having a cough. Oh shit. Who are you? Okay, so we are guarded by one million colossus. Seriously, one million colossus. They get out on foot and do this. Uh, I'm concerned with there being more than one colossus. I would end up dead. If I just keep going around in a circle, it shouldn't be too easy for them to latch on to me. They're annoying. Oh, there's one there. I don't even know if the, the Mako's kind of. What do we call this thing? Cannon. There's all that much damage to them. Bob. See, it's just the lack of manoeuvrability that makes the Mako a bit of a pain. The lack of accuracy as well. I'm shooting right at that thing and it's just not registering. That's what annoys me about doing these battles in Oh, oh car. Shiny pants rockets or whatever they call them. Plasma shooters. Bullshit. Oh, the Colossus! The Colossus party! We go together like two Colossus defending an outpost or whatever. I need to go and heal before the guests kill me. 
go and repair my makeup. Well, that was pretty much useless. Didn't really do much of a good repair job there. It must have been about one hit away from death. I'm just going to let this cool down. <sighs> Two lots of Omni Gel. Better repair all my wheels. That's right. See, it doesn't even, it doesn't look like it hits you, but somehow it miraculously manages to like clip the side of you, even though it's nowhere near. Silly, silly. Finish you off on foot with such vehement anger that uh, I made my gun overheat. There was something very satisfying about that. Obviously, there's going to be about a million deaths through this door. Sappers and stalkers and shields down. Tigers and bears, oh my. go as the last geth falls you hear music from across the room on the monitor a quarian stands before a hushed crowd warbling a mournful a mournful a cappella of words and innocence lost the recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the perseus veil the transmitter shuts down think we're good commander i think we are too ash High explosives. Get yeah, terminal. You discover a normal encrypted Geth data files. In proper hands, they could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth. Download the data. I quite imagine that Tally would like to take that back to her people. There we go. That's the main kind of reason that I wanted to do this. I think that, um, I don't think that Tally ever kind of asks us to come after the Geth to, to 
help her get stuff to take back on her pilgrimage. But I think if we speak to her now after this, after we've done this, she asks you if she can have the data. Um, so she can take it back to the quarians. For from her pilgrimage. And I will happily give it to her because she's been right here at our side, taking out all these guests. And she did a very good job. Well done, Tally. Well done. So, poor Mr. Mako is on fire. Look at him. He's sad. He's so, so beaten up. So yes, this has probably been a few parts. Um, it took a while. It's quite a big little diversion and assignment, but it's worth it. We got it done. I'm going to quickly run down and speak to Tally about the Geth. I'm pretty certain that, um, that she's going to ask for the data. And while I'm down here, I might as well clear out my inventory and sort out the upgrades and sell some things. Just get all ready for what's going to happen next. We are heading to Vermeer. And Vermeer is no joke. You look quite dark, Shep. I don't know whether the... <clears throat> my son has a habit lately of messing around with the settings on the TV and I don't know whether he's turned the brightness down a little bit. Go see if Tally wants this data. I've got a feeling that she does. I'm pretty certain. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, well, there we go. We have helped out Tally too. We've helped out Tally, Garrus, and Rex. All in a good day's work. Okie dokie. So I'm going to do some upload, uh, uploading, upgrading, sell some things. I will see you back up top um, in the CIC and we will head to Vermeer. Okay, um, there was just something that I wanted to quickly show you. Uh, if we go back up and touch the galaxy map. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Wonderful. <laughs>